highly recommended strategy is the concept of something called intuitive eating. Intuitive eating is about pure and simple honesty. It's about truth telling and tuning into your own body wisdom, your own self-awareness. So this is an approach that has no rules, no foods are off limits, no time of eating is off limits. The only guideline required is following your actual intuition, your hunger cues, and acting with your body-mind alignment. You really become responsible for yourself, and that inner three-year-old isn't driving you to eat all the leftover candy. So what I like about this way of eating is that there is zero shame, and it allows you to have a more balanced relationship with food without telling yourself some story that you can't have that or you have to eat all of it now because you're never gonna eat it again. And it, it just it eliminates the rigid thinking. So when you actively choose to not eat something or you're just sampling a little, little bit, it's because you're really listening to yourself and you're not listening to your auntie who wants you to eat her freshly baked pie. Red foods are great for your cardiovascular system. I want you to think the color of your blood. And today I'm gonna to talk about some ingredients, some nutrients that are found in red foods. First up is lycopene. Lycopene actually helps to reduce cholesterol and your blood pressure. It's found in foods like tomatoes and watermelon. Next up, we have pomegranates, a well-known anti-cancer food, which is also linked to reducing your blood pressure because they act as something called an ACE inhibitor, which um, it acts on your angiotensin to help relax blood vessels. And this just lowers blood pressure and allows more oxygen to get to the heart. Raspberries and strawberries are really high in vitamin C and potassium. They also help to alleviate blood pressure. But the powerhouse of them all is the beet, which has been clinically shown to improve sports performance. Um, it's not only high in vitamins and minerals like iron, but along with the pomegranate, beets are excellent for lowering blood pressure. Uh, and they're high in something called plant nitrates. Now plant nitrates convert into something called nitric oxide. Nitric oxide levels will help relax your arteries and this helps improve oxygen delivery. For athletes, it's super important to get oxygenated blood to their working muscles to improve their sports performance. Um, but improving nitric oxide levels is especially important once we are over the age of 40. And that's because we experience over 50% decline from when we were in our 20s and 30s. And so dietary nitrates like beets are critical for health as we get older. Red beets also, as a side note, will help us improve adjusting to altitude. So the people who live at altitude, like the Tibetans, for example, have been found to have more nitric oxide levels in their blood. So if you're planning a trip to a high altitude location, I highly encourage you to up that nitric oxide level. I've got three different kinds of beets here that I'm gonna prepare. I've got a chiaga beet, which is kind of white with some pink, a red beet, and a golden beet. Beets are actually great for reconstituting stomach acid, which is something that depletes as we age. They're high in betaine, and betaine helps with your hydrochloric acid. Also, beets are amazing for your cardiovascular system. They boost something called nitric oxide, which relaxes blood vessels and acts like a natural ACE inhibitor, which is an angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor. And, and so they're great for athletic performance and they're great for cardiovascular health. And there are different ways that you can prepare beets. You can boil them, you can steam them. I'm gonna roast mine because I love, I love to roast vegetables. It's my favorite favorite way to prepare vegetables. So we're just gonna chop them up here into some small cubes. Spread them out. 
I like I like different colors because uh, different colors have different nutrients and it's also pretty because let's face it, we do eat with our eyes and making sure that you're satisfying your senses is an important part of just emotional satisfaction with regards to our food. Be careful with the red beets. They do, they do stain a little bit, so make sure not to touch clothes and to wash cutting boards and things really well when you're done. But this one is so pretty. Look at the neat, it's, it's so beautiful. I love what these plant foods do for our health. And, you know, eating this way is so simple. It doesn't take a lot to prepare. All I'm gonna do to this is add a little bit of olive oil and salt and put it in the oven at 375. And just in, I don't know, 20, 20 to 30 minutes, it's ready and delicious. Enjoy.